quick on our YouTube. I just wanted to make a super quick tutorial to show you how you can use data validation in conditional formatting so that way whenever you select buttons, cells appear to show and not show. So you can see when I select good, this shows to be good. When I select bad, this shows to be bad. So going into a new tab, I'm going to type, replicate this by first typing good, one cell, and bad, and other cell. Next is to go to developer. If you don't have the developer tab set up, I'm going to show you how to install it using the uh, uh, with a link in the description. That's it to video. But to go to the, the developer tab, insert form controls, then you're going to want to you do the option button, and you're going to want two option buttons. By the way, just in case you didn't catch that, the option button is this button right here. I just pause it for a second and change it from good to, to good and bad um, for the option button. Um, but as you can see, that we now have buttons in this Excel sheet. So the next step is to, to see right click, go to format control and link this to a cell, which you're going to use F4 as an example. And this should automatically link to F4 as well, but just to make sure, here it links F4 as well. So now as you can see, based on the selection of the button, it changes for uh, to one for good and a two for bad. So next is to do some default formatting for the cells. So Alt H A C, then just Control B, and this is where the conditional formatting comes in. So to do the conditional formatting aspect, we're going to, want to go to Data, this box right here, or no, to do the conditional formatting aspect. Sorry, you're going to, want to go to Home, Conditional Formatting, and we are going to use rules for conditional formatting so starting with the good box initial formatting new rule and basically we're going to go to the section right here where it says use a formula to determine the formatting and basically if this equals one we are going to want there to be an outside border we want the cell to be highlighted in yellow and we're going to put the font to be this. However, if that cell is highlighted, if that sorry there is one, we're going to want bad to just not show. So going there to new rule. That equals one. Format and for the font, we're going to go right here to color to have it be white. So it's still there, but it doesn't look like it's there. And they're going to do the same thing for the bad selection. So going to get conditional formatting, new rule. Instead, if that equals 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 two, font color to be white. And If that if this equals two, we're going to want there to be an outside border. And for the um fill to be in yellow. And now you can see this the fills appear and disappear. But to clean this up a little bit more, we are going to change this to be a white fill. So now the number doesn't appear there. Um, but the concern comes across though, that it doesn't appear to be there, but it goes there, right? Because if I highlight over this cell, even though you can't see the cell bad, the bad is still there. And as you can see, the good is still there, even though if you can't see it. So, and same thing with number two. Um, so to make it so where users can't type over this, because as you can see, I can still go right here and type in Apple, for example, and then the cell just completely changes. This, the content the content of the cell completely changes even though the formatting doesn't. So to make it to where people can't type over it or if they do type over it then it won't mess up so much, we're going to use conditional formatting. So right here where you can see there's a number, we're going to go to conditional formatting, where we're going to go to data, data validation. And instead of allowing any value, we're only going to allow a whole number between one and two. With just a customized input message that says, please use the
So now if someone types into this cell, let's just, let's just say they type into three, they'll get a pop up message that says only allows one and two. Same thing for these, except for data validation, we're going to use decimal. Between 0.001. So that way, someone will have to type in. So that way, if someone if someone tell you yes, you cancel type over this to an extent. We have to type like 0 0.1234. I mean, just some numbers to type over these. Um, it's not full for a lot of situations. So that way, if you can just type in like number three, then you get the deal about get validation error or pretty much anything. It will revert to being what you initially had in there. Um, so I hope that this was helpful. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you have any other questions. And have a good one.